This is the review of Wiley Fox Swift smartphone. We get the phone in a little orange box which has Wiley Fox and Cyanogen branding on it. With the phone you get a cool looking flat USB micro USB cable, warranty booklet and a quick start guide. Wiley Fox Swift looks attractive and does not feel like low-end phone. On the front panel we have a 5-inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1280 x 720, pixel density of 294 per inch and it is protected by Gorilla Glass 3. It is also worth mentioning that it can be operated with gloves on. At the top we have an earpiece and next to it a 5 megapixel front camera. In the upper left corner we find a small LED that, by using different colors, informs us for example about battery status or notifications from applications. On the top we have headphone jack and microphone. On the right side there is a volume rocker and power button. Both buttons have a nice click. On the bottom we have a micro USB port and two grills. One covers a microphone and the other one the loudspeaker. On the back panel we find a 30 megapixel camera from Samsung, two flashes and Wiley Fox name and logo. The ring around the camera is in orange color and looks very cool. The back panel is made of plastic and has a nice to touch sandy texture. The phone stays firmly in the hand and fingerprints are barely visible. Under the panel there are two SIM card slots micro SD card slot up to 32 gigs and a battery with a capacity of 2500 milliamps. The phone is 9.37 mm thick, weighs 135 grams and is very well made. Wiley Fox Swift comes with 64-bit Snapdragon 410 quad-core processor clocked at 1.2 gigs, Adreno 306 GPU, 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal memory. It also has Bluetooth 4.0 and AGPS. This smartphone is running Cyanogen 12.1, which is based on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. It is worth noting that the phone doesn't have unnecessary bloatware. Cyanogen mode offers several interesting features. In a dedicated Thames app, you can download free and pay Thames that change the look of UI. These Thames can be freely changed. You can combine graphics from other themes downloaded to your smartphone, thus creating a personalized look of the interface on your smartphone. When you press and hold on the main screen, you get access to a main menu that lets you change the settings regarding the appearance of the home screen and drawer. The drawer menu has an interesting design and navigation through it works quickly and without any problems. At the bottom we have a bar with alphabet thanks to which you can quickly move to desired application. The notifications drawer has some interesting features as well. When you pull it down on the right side you get quick access to settings like brightness, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, flashlight and audio FX. Or you can change settings regarding the brightness of the screen when this option is enabled. The screen becomes warmer in the evening hours and thereby this reduces the eye fatigue. If you pull down in the middle, notifications from the application will be displayed. Fast double tap on the notification drawer turns off the screen. In all the FX app, you can choose the type of played music, set the strength of the bass or choose how you listen to the music, through built-in loudspeaker or through the headphones. In the display and light settings, you can change the backlight settings and change the colors of the LED that is located above the screen. Depending on your notification settings, it will light up in a different color. Used in Wiley Fox Swift, 5-inch display is really good, colors looks nice and the image is sharp. Viewing angles are good. The backlight of the display, when set to maximum, is very strong and using the smartphone in a direct sunlight is not a problem. Let's discuss the camera. On board we have 30 megapixel camera. With a good light, the camera reproduces the colors and the depth very well. Pictures are sharp, but the camera has some problems with contrasting light levels. Still, the camera works pretty well for a device at this price point and it can also take pictures very fast. The camera app lets you take pictures, record videos and do landscape panoramas. 
On the screen, icons let you change several camera settings and sliding your finger from top to bottom of the screen changes the effects modes. Among others we have HDR, Aqua, Cephia, Neon and many many others. The camera can record videos in 1080 and it can also record in slow motion in 720 at 60 frames per second. You can change video and audio codecs that will be used during recording. The camera also supports changing the focus during video recording. When playing HD movies and playing games, such as car racing, we didn't experience any problems. The phone copes with them without any hiccups and in overall it works quickly and smoothly. Loading web pages goes quickly, even pages with lots of content and images work smoothly. Thanks to large battery with a capacity of 2500 milliamps, you don't have to worry that the phone will die on you. People who are not heavy users of the smartphones can do without charging up to two days. In summary, Wiley Fox Swift is a very attractive smartphone, taking into account the available features, specification and price of the device. It works fast and without any problems. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, share and like. Thank <laughs> you.